Salwete Discipoli, hello sixth grade. And uh, this is for my fully remote students. Uh, so this is what we're gonna be working on in class this week. So I wanted to create this video uh, to sort of walk you through it. On Google Classroom, there is a handout with a story on it. Um, we learned some Latin words for animals last week. So this week I've got a little story using a couple of those words. Uh, you're gonna print out that handout. The story uh, in Latin is all on there with spaces for you to write the translation of the story. Um, so as we go through the story together, write down your translations on the handout. Um, and then at the end, there is going to be a little assignment for you to do for next week, okay? Let's get started. All right, Ursus et Porcus. This is our story for today. Uh, Ursus, we learned this last week and we learned Porcus. This is the story of the bear and the pig. Ursus in Silva ambulat. The bear walks in the forest. Sum Ursus in Silva ambulo. I am a bear. I walk in the forest. Porcus in Silva. Ambulat. A pig walks in the forest. Sum porcus. In silva ambulo. I am a pig. I walk in the forest. Ursus porcum widet. The bear sees the pig. Porcus ursum widet. The pig sees the bear. Porcum video. I see a pig. Ursum video. I see a bear. Noli fugere, amicum desidero. Don't flee, I desire a friend. Noli me edere. Don't eat me. Non porcos edo, edo bacas. I don't eat pigs. I eat berries. Euge, edo glandes. Hooray, I eat acorns. Amici sumus? Are we friends? Amici sumus. We are friends. Ursus et porcus in silva ambulant. The bear and the pig walk in the forest. So I know it seems like kind of a silly little story, um, but you guys are kind of in like the preschool kindergarten stages of learning Latin right now. So we're gonna be reading uh, stories. Our stories are gonna be fairly simple. Um, because technically you guys only learn the words for animals. So there are quite a few other words in here that you guys haven't learned yet. Um, in class, we're gonna be kind of spending a little bit more time talking about the grammar, but uh, not something you guys need to worry about just yet. It's more stuff you guys are gonna learn in seventh grade. Um, just kind of a fun way to practice some of our vocabulary. Um, so at this point, uh, you should have all your translations. If you need to go back and uh, watch again and pause so that you can write down the translations. I will also post uh, this PowerPoint on Google Classroom so you can just go back and go through the PowerPoint to check your translations. Um, so once you have all your translations, then there is an assignment for you guys. Um, you're going to print out the uh, sort of comic uh, storyboard that I created, temp a template that I created. You're going to pick six of these sentences, these parts of the story that you want to illustrate yourself. You're going to write the Latin 
at the bottom of each box. There are six boxes. And then you are going to illustrate each part of the story that you've chosen. So if you pick, for example, this last one, you would write Ursus et Porcus in Silva Ambulant at the bottom. And then you'll draw a picture uh, illustrating the bear and the pig walking in the forest. Now, I know not everyone's an artist. Uh, as I've said before, I am a stick figure artist, so it doesn't have to be the most uh, elaborate drawings, um, but have some fun with it, add some color, um, enjoy a little bit of artistic <laughs> liberties with uh, illustrating these, this little silly little story about a bear and a pig. Thank you, and please email me if you have any questions. Um, I can have office hours on Monday by appointment. So if you want to have a Zoom meeting to talk about anything in Latin class, uh, email me and we can set up a time on Mondays to do that. Otherwise, uh, I will hope to hear from you soon. Um, email me, you will email me a picture of your um, completed uh, illustrations that you do uh, so that you get credit for that assignment. Okay? Wale te discipuli.